Welcome back to Weekend Warrior Welding and DIY Projects. This is part two of the Hoshizaki Undercounter Nugget Ice Maker, otherwise known as Sonic Ice. This is the drain pump. The person who gave me the ice maker originally told me that the problem with the ice maker was with the drain pump. And after I descaled it, I ended up getting this huge amount of scale out of it. I didn't really know what it was at the time, but I know now. This was water, or the, the inside the tube going from the reservoir to the actual ice maker, so clearly it didn't work. I feel like it overflowed, and part of that overflow uh, left scale, all this white residue there, on the pump and I feel like it probably overflowed into the previous owner's home or into their, at least into their backyard pool area, wherever they had it. So they blamed it on the drain pump, even though it was really just the fact that it had not been cleaned in forever. So as a matter of just being a generally cautious person, I want to take the drain pump apart. I want to make sure it's clean, make sure it's not all gross and nasty and covered with scale like the rest of the unit was before I put it in my house. There's no way I'm putting an ice maker in my house that I got for free off of the Nextdoor app that leaked all over someone else's house without going through the thing with a fine tooth comb to make sure that I don't have the same problems that they had. So anyway, what we're doing is we're disassembling the drainage pump and we're going to descale it, make sure everything inside of it is clean and then we're going to test it. From the first video, after I cleaned the ice maker, everything was working fine. Just so you know the, uh, the background here, what I did is I let it make ice for a week, just connected to the garden hose in my garage. Beautiful ice, it filled up, it took about 24 hours. Very, very pleased with, uh, with the ice, with the results, but basically it was draining out of my garage into the driveway. Now, we're gonna see what it looks like inside. Okay, so I have some descaler. left over from last time here in this box. I'm going to take all these pieces off. I'm going to take off this, looks like a pump. That's the pump inside. This is probably the pump motor. Um, I'm going to take this off, I'm going to take this hose off, I'm going to do it all offline, I'm probably just going to drop the pieces in there. Um, these float switches are definitely pretty dirty and nasty. Yeah, you can see it's all rubbing off on my hands. I'm going to clean those off. We just want to make sure, at least if we're going to do this, we're going to start off with something as nice as possible. So, enjoy the break, be right back. Welcome back to Weekend Warrior Welding and DIY Projects. This is part two of the Hoshizaki Undercounter Nugget Ice Maker, otherwise known as Sonic Ice. This is the drain pump. The person who gave me the ice maker originally told me that the the problem with the ice maker was with the drain pump, and after I descaled it, 
I ended up getting this huge amount of scale out of it. I didn't really know what it was at the time, but I know now. This was water, or the, the inside the tube going from the reservoir to the actual ice maker, so clearly it didn't work. I feel like it overflowed, and part of that overflow uh, left scale, all this white residue there, on the pump, and I feel like it probably overflowed into the previous owner's home, or into their, at least into their backyard pool area, wherever they had it. So they blamed it on the drain pump, even though it was really just the fact that it had not been cleaned in forever. So as a matter of just being a generally cautious person, I want to take the drain pump apart. I want to make sure it's clean, make sure it's not all gross and nasty and covered with scale like the rest of the unit was before I put it in my house. There's no way I'm putting an ice maker in my house that I got for free off of the Nextdoor app that leaked all over someone else's house without going through the thing with a fine tooth comb to make sure that I don't have the same problems that they had. So anyway, what we're doing is we're disassembling the drainage pump and we're going to descale it, make sure everything inside of it is clean, and then we're going to test it from the first video. After I cleaned the ice maker, everything was working fine. Just so you know the, uh, the background here, what I did is I let it make ice for a week, just connected to the garden hose in my garage. Beautiful ice, it filled up, it took about 24 hours. Very, very pleased with, uh, with the ice, with the results. But basically it was draining out of my garage into the driveway. Now we're going to see what it looks like inside. Okay, so I have some descaler. Left over from last time here in this box. I'm going to take all these pieces off. I'm going to take off this, looks like a pump. That's the pump inside. This is probably the pump motor. Um, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this hose off. Uh, I'm going to do it all offline. I'm probably just going to drop the pieces in there. Um, these float switches are definitely pretty dirty and nasty. Yeah, you can see it's all rubbing off on my hands. I'm going to clean those off. We just want to make sure, at least if we're going to do this, we're going to start off with something as nice as possible. So enjoy the break. Be right back. All right, so I've got everything assembled. I put the hose on the way it's supposed to be. The pump lower housing or whatever you want to call it is on. The floats are clean. The pump itself is uh, properly mounted to this plate. Inside here, now that it's cleaned out, you can see the pump goes on this side on the left so next finally the last piece a little cover to protect the electronics 
Now, I'll say this, I have no reason to believe that the electronics in here are bad, other than what the prior owner said. But next, we're gonna hook this thing up now that it's been cleaned. And we're gonna see if it works. If it works, I'm gonna run the ice maker for another, basically for a week. Um, once this has been connected in, I'll show you guys how to connect it in. Let's cross our fingers, hope everything works out. Because if this thing doesn't let the ice maker leak in my garage and I can pump everything out in a drain, then I'll be happy putting it in my house. Once I get everything put back in place, I'll show you how we did it. Alright, so everything is hooked up except for the garden hose, which will go there. After we're done making this video, I'll spin it around. I'll plug it in, but I wanted you to see. I don't know if you can see back in there, well, not really, the drain pipe, plastic, it's like about a half inch tube coming out of the bottom of the ice box, drains into the pump. I believe this probably half inch tube is the one that's supposed to go to the drain. I feel like this is just a vent. I didn't check the instructions. I wanted to get this video done. I wanted to get the thing turned on and it's starting to get late so I'm going to hook up the hose I'm going to run the end of this drain tube which is normally supposed to go actually into your drain per the instructions I'm just gonna put it into a Home Depot bucket right by the garage door so that I can verify it's actually draining and what I want to see is that there's no water accumulating down here. This is dry. This is dry. Um, you can see all of the scale everywhere um, where it had accumulated previously. We really don't want to see that. I ordered another bottle of descaler. When it comes, I'm going to spray everything down. Uh, give it the final once over before I put it in the house. So I'm going to go get this thing hooked up to its uh, to its testing system and I'll give you one last video after it is uh, one last clip sorry after it's been connected and is producing ice all right well it's been running for about 12 hours you can see it is completely full of ice exactly what we want Here, there is just a tiny bit of water here. Uh, that's that's normal. That's condensation from uh, the ice maker. The pump has been working. There's no water at all in here. Bone dry. Going into my bucket. Kind of hard to see, but it's got about a gallon of water in it after 12 hours. Pretty happy with that. Overall. I'd say this is a success, so thank you for watching with me. I hope this was entertaining, informative, hope you learned something, hope it's useful information for you, but please share, please subscribe if you haven't already, let other people know about my channel, I'm trying to grow right now and I need all the help I can get. I've got some great new videos coming out, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.